Hey, we're celebrating all aspects of pride during this pride month, and that includes access to health care for the LGBTQ plus community. Yeah, Kaiser Permanente Northwest is a big supporter of pride month and joining us live to tell us how his company is spreading the message of acceptance and inclusivity is Jeff Collins, president of Kaiser Permanente Northwest. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Good to be with you. Yeah, thanks for being here. So I know we saw Kaiser's float during the Pride Parade. Yeah. Uh, Kaiser's really got a lot of uh, support behind Pride. So what is the importance of inclusivity in healthcare? I think a lot of people don't realize that this is an issue. Yes, it, it certainly is. Um, so first, uh, Pride is just a great way for us to celebrate through all of KP um, our LGBTQ um, staff, their families, our community at large. And for me, it's always fun to see the families come out. Um, but yes, uh, you know, there's still a lot of discrimination within the LGBT community, both within healthcare and without. There was a recent survey that 68% of LGBTQ people who took the survey said that they had been discriminated against in healthcare and that affected their psychological well being. And almost 50% said that discrimination affected their physical well-being. And then very disturbing, 23% of transgender people said that in the year prior to taking the survey, they had intentionally not received health care mm. because of the discrimination that they face. So it's, it's still an uphill battle. We've got a lot of room to, to improve, but I'm very happy with, we have a gender pathway clinic in the Northwest. And it's a very affirming, welcoming, multidisciplinary clinic where people can receive primary care, surgical care, surgical transition care, mental health, um, social work, uh, community advocacy. So it's just a great clinic to improve uh, access. Yeah, I mean, these these really are uh, the issues that affect people's lives yeah. and, and livelihoods when we look at, uh, you know, access and, and, and inclusivity in healthcare. What are some of the, the challenges to improving healthcare access for the LGBTQ community and, and some opportunities to improve there? Well, I, I touched on some of that. Um, some of it is because of the discrimination they've faced. They don't access care. And if you don't access care, you know, there's a direct correlation to poor outcomes. So we've just got to really work on affirming, welcoming. Uh, one thing we're doing at KP is we're putting all of our staff, starting with managers, through a program called Belong to KP. And it really is identifying um, unconscious bias that we've mm -hmm. seen really become an issue over the last year. Um, so we're hopeful that as all of our staff goes through that training, um, we will start to realize what our unconscious biases are. And that's the first step to, to correct them. And the first module was led by a, a national expert and something she said really resonated with me that if you have a brain and we all do, then you have unconscious bias. It's just a fact of life. And we need to just accept it and try to eliminate it wherever we can. Yeah, what, what, what is an example of, you know, how that unconscious bias plays out in healthcare when it comes to the LGBTQ plus community? Uh, one thing I hear quite often is just how we address people with the, the proper pronouns that they want to be addressed by. And it's uncomfortable for some people. It's new to them. But if you're not addressing them with the proper pronouns, they're feeling that they're being dismissed and not heard. And, and again, it, it's, it's an unconscious prejudice. Right. Yeah, some of those small things that, you know, we hear people say, like, why is this such a big deal? Well, it, you know, it, it is a big deal to the people that um, that are affected by it. Uh, so if people want more information for, for themselves or a member of their family, what are some of the best ways to reach out and find the, the type of care that would be right for them? Um, you can certainly go to kp.org. Um, that would be one way to access it. Um, and we, I could give you some more resources that you could probably post later. Yeah, and okay. you mentioned too your gender pathways program. I think that's an important uh, important program to highlight here too, because uh, you mentioned it briefly. But tell us a little bit about some of the the treatment and access available there. Yeah, so it's uh, from pediatrics to seniors, um, and it starts with primary care, internal medicine. Um, I mentioned mental health, which is a big component um, of the transitioning, um, social work, um, surgical intervention, surgical transitioning. Um, so it really is all encompassing in one clinic. So people don't have to go to multiple clinics. They can get all of their care under one roof. And it's really, as I said, a, a affirming, welcoming environment. Mm. 
Well, Jeff Collins, president of Kaiser Permanente Northwest, thank you so much for joining us and, and giving us some more information on you know, these, these things that I, a lot of people, like you said, don't realize they're Important even doing. Issues, yeah. um, and thank you for your support. Happy Pride to you. Happy Pride. Thanks very much.